don't know who your enemy is. You can't see your enemy. Don't know if this little kid walking up is going to blow me up. Huh? And you're over there and you're away from your family. And after a while, it gets to you. Something triggers something inside of all of us that sends us over the edge. When my wife and I got divorced with my two children, life is just miserable. But I learned through therapy how to deal with it. Because what you're doing is tough enough when you're healthy. Understand depression is not, it's out of your control. It's got nothing to do with you. It's, got some, it's chemicals in your brain that aren't functioning properly and you can get help. So seek that help. Get happy and uh, come home. When you hear the name, you automatically think success, talent, wealth. For years, he was the man we admired on the football field and on the tube, and now on the big screen. But almost a decade ago, deep down inside, Terry Bradshaw was quietly suffering. Clinical depression was uh, what I was diagnosed with. On the outside, Bradshaw was the man of steel, but on the inside... I've been... Uh, where you just uh, break down and uh, I mean and I remember I remember so many times saying God I'm a, how long is this going to last because it you know it was periods but but on TV on, on Fox uh, everything you came across as the, so? the, the alpha male what, so how, how did you so how did you cover it up how did you cover up how you feel the depression doesn't steal your personality it doesn't rob you who you are you uh, you're left to that choice if you want to uh, to feel sorry for yourself and woe is me and go off and and uh, get in the hole and stay in the hole I, that's not it now I am alpha male maybe so I am not someone who takes kindly to being down Well, what sent me to the doctor was anxiety attacks, um, and uh, the mood swings. And they're, you know, I, I, one of the things. Here's one of the things I learned about depression. Um, everybody has depression. If um, you lose a loved one, um, there'll be depression. Uh, any, any catastrophe in our lives leads to depression. Everybody gets depressed, clinically depressed people like myself. We have uh, the chemicals in our brain that uh, don't quite cross the road, you know, when they should. And so um, we have a balancing act in life. And... Uh, we have to, uh, one of the things, that's why I always tell people, uh, you've got to go see a doctor, and you've got to get a therapist, and you've got to talk about it. Got to turn to, you know, um, when I felt something was wrong, really wrong, um, I called uh, Dr. Tucker. And uh, who's my preacher? I'm Baptist. Everybody's Baptist where I'm from, except those that's been messed with. Everybody's Baptist. <clears throat> and I told him, something's not right. I, I can't get out of this hole. I always get out of the hole. You know? Been to it so many. I always get out of the hole. I don't stay in holes. I get out of holes. You know, I don't stay down. I get up. And in my life, 90% of my time, I spend getting other people up. <laughs> so I'm always, I'm one of the so, yeah, I'd been praying, but, you know, I wasn't really sitting around. I, I, God wouldn't answer my prayer the minute I got through, <laughs> you know. So, come on. How quick does this take here to answer these prayers? Let's get on with it. And that's not really how it works. But, yeah, um, 
Yeah, or I wouldn't have called my preacher. If I wasn't a man of faith, I wouldn't have called my preacher. I actually had gotten saved. I know I've been saved. Um, wow. Just a few months. You know, so. But, or I, and, and if I didn't feel comfortable with him, I wouldn't have done it. And that's why I always tell her if I, sometimes we talk to our friends. We talk to people we're comfortable with. 